Tomorrow's edition of the renowned research journal Nature will report on the discovery of the first planetary system that has similar features to our own solar system. Until 10 years ago, astronomers had speculated about the existence of planets outside our solar system. Then, in 1995, the first such planet orbiting another star was discovered. Since then, about 170 planets have been found, which suggests that they are common in the universe. However, all the planets discovered so far are rather different from those in our own solar system. Many of them are much more massive than even the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. In addition, their orbits required new theories of planet formation, the planets being either too close or too far from their host star. This prompts the question of whether our solar system is still unique in having formed and evolved the way it did, and in being able to harbour life. Now, however, an international team of astronomers have found a new planetary system very much like our own. Using the Danish 1.5 metre telescope at the ESO La Silla Paranal Observatory in the Chilean Atacama Desert, they have found a planet 25,000 light years from Earth, with only about five times the mass of the Earth and an orbit size three times that of the Earth. This makes the planetary system more like our own than any discovered so far. The observations were complemented by data from several other observatories worldwide. The planet that we have discovered here, it's uh, the smallest planet that has ever been seen around another star. It's 25,000 light years from here, but it's only five times the mass of the Earth. And it's three times further away from its sun than we are from our own sun. That means that it's colder there and it's probably covered with ice on this planet. The discovery was made through careful analysis of starlight in what astronomers call a lensing event. It occurs as light from a star is bent in the gravitational field of an object between the star and the observer, much like a magnifying lens, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein. In this case, the body that causes the bending of the light appears to be a star with an orbiting planet. Passing in front of the background star, they cause an apparent brightening of the background star. The astronomers first saw a brightening due to the star, and then a second short brightening caused by its planet. By carefully analysing the starlight, the scientists were able to measure the mass of the planet and the size of its orbit. Since these small planets are very difficult to detect, our discovery suggests that they are common. 